Hollywood icon, the incomparable Bob Mackie returns with his colorful wearable art separates for spring, all created especially for QVC. Help us wish Bob the best. Wednesday at 6 a.m., 11 a.m., and 10 p.m. Eastern, only on QVC. Everybody has something they absolutely love to do, and for me, it's gardening. Hi everybody, I'm Carolyn Gracie, and I can't wait to bring you tips, tricks, and tons of great product ideas to get growing this spring and throughout the year. You won't want to miss Garden Party with Carolyn, Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Eastern. Don't just shop, you. We got a heck of a show going here, we're back inside, my name's Rick. Still coming up, Montel Williams coming up next with the Health Master with the Emulsifier. David Burke with two brand new items. This guy's going to be on Top Chef. He's the real deal. That's awesome. And Eric Feast, the former restaurant owner. Yeah, nice to have you here. here. Yeah. Running this big cooking on Q Day. Yeah. Nice to have thanks, you here. Uh, Prepology is our brand that is kind of everything but the pot. It's all great <laughs> stuff to help you cook, great gadgets. And this is one that will allow us, maybe for the first time ever, to do more than just heat our coffee and our soup with our microwave oven, right? No, you're so smart. To actually cook with actually the microwave oven. We can't do that. Don't blame your microwave for being a bad cook. You just uh -huh. never had the right tools to do it. Take a look at this. Here, I did this just before the start of the show. I used my pan and my press. You're getting two of these, believe it or not, two. And you can actually sear and, and then roast in the microwave to get results like this. So you heat it up for about two minutes, put it in the microwave, Sear the top and the bottom, you're going to cook with radiant heat and microwave heat, and you're going to get results like this. Look at perfectly browned chicken, beautiful tomato topping on to throw on the top of that. Now, let me show you how we're going to turn the I know, because I, I got them all going. Let me okay. show you here. What you're getting, by the way, is a set of two. They're microwave mini square grill pans. So this can be the retired couple's dream come true, right? That, that's right. So when I'm the busy teenager on the go dream come true for $18.24, $9 a piece. So I just heat this up. Heat it up first, right? Right, for just for a couple of minutes. Then I put the burger in. Listen to that. And then I put the press on. Can everybody hear that? Yeah. So I'm searing with radiant heat. It's really hot. It gets up to like 400 degrees. Now that's going to go back in the microwave from frozen. That was a frozen burger. Only day of the introductory. And we're going to cook that for five minutes. Right. And then what's going to happen is we're going to have a burger that's completely cooked that actually looks like this. Wait, you, while you're doing that, let me sh uh, show the colors real quick. Because it's sure. ready to choose from. We've got to have the colors. Everything's got a color. Gunmetal, red, or blue. And you get two no matter what you're getting. So you get the actual vessel, right, the square grill pan. And then you get the press on top, right? Yeah, that's that's right. And you need, you need them both. They work together. That that, uh, that really annoying beat does not come with yeah, that. You know, it's, that is, that's no, it's yeah. the nature of the beast today. Yeah. But here's a Kansas City burger that I seared here from Frozen, guys. If you guys have ever used Frozen burgers, this is how they look. They're hard as a rock. I cooked this in five minutes from Frozen. And take a look at the sear marks really? on that. From Frozen in, how in five minutes? minutes. I heated it up for a couple of minutes. I give you the manual, it tells you everything, how to do it, I give you rubs and recipes and crazy things to do in the microwave, you're going to get results like this, you're going to get beautiful seared burgers, and then you can put them right on your bun, and because you get two, while you're cooking one, you can heat up the other press. Now look, all the, dirt, all the, the uh, grease is in there because we have grill marks, so you have a fat channel in there, so you're not cooking in your own fat. Yeah. These things are really phenomenal. Okay. I can turn this one off, by the way. Okay, let me show you, turn let me show you this. This is my favorite thing to do. I popped this guy in here not too long ago. It looked like this. Now take a look at that in your microwave. Now, this is something that is so special because you've never been able to do bready things in the microwave at all. The pan is all non-stick coated, so I can get this cheesy mess out of here without any problem. Now take a look at this panini, Rick. Could you, could you imagine getting a browned panini in the microwave? And done. And look at this. In a couple of minutes. It's cheesy look and delicious. This. This, is, this is for the for the family on the go, for the student on the go, for the look retired couple who are saying, you know what, I don't want to uh, get up my whole oven. I've got this microwave. What are we having for dinner? Something's frozen. That's all we have. We have to go out and we have to spend 20 bucks now on a pizza. Because yeah. everything is frozen. All the chicken breast is frozen. All the burgers are frozen. From frozen, literally, about five minutes away. Right? Right? So I'm going to try to cook this in the time that we have left here. Now, I just put my sandwich in. I just showed it to you. I'm going to yeah. put it back in the microwave. I'm going to try to get it done in two minutes. What? Can you get that up? Don't it. touch it. Don't touch it. It's hot. Can <laughs> you get that for me? <laughs> don't touch it. It's really hot. 
Tell me what's physically happening. Don't hurt the hose. Don't hurt the hose. I got two, I got three hours. Right, Tell me what's physically up. happening. Yeah, I will. How does it work? How it works. Why is it not just a regular fan? How are you allowed to put We've it into the microwave? We've figured out how to make a pan go into the microwave. We're using a combination of silicone and iron ferrite. The iron ferrite is grabbing the heat from the microwave, causing radiant heat. That's going to get the searing temperature up to 400 degrees. Once the pan and the press are up to about 400 degrees, about a minute or a minute to, to two minutes, it tells yeah. you everything in the microwave, in the manual. Then you're cooking with radiant heat from the top and the bottom. You're cooking with microwave heat coming in at it from all directions, cooking it from the middle out. Only day at the introductory price. It goes up at the end of the day, by the way, so this will never be this price again. That's very rare that we have an item that's the only day at this price. Big story, Margaret from Illinois is joining us. Hi, Margaret, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I am so thrilled that this is in this small set. I've got the big one. And it's the greatest thing that I have ever gotten. I can take one to work, and I can keep one at home. The big one, it is just, yeah, I, I can't tell you how much I love this thing. Oh, I, this is, it, it, I'm just thinking for the millions of cubicle people, of worker <laughs> people, of people who work at an office all day. Oh, absolutely. This has got to be a godsend for you. Why do you like it at work, Margaret? Well, I don't usually do stuff at work, but by having this, I will. You will? I, a, absolutely. I, I mean, it. I, I must use this thing probably four or five times a week oh, yeah. at home. Wow. The chicken breasts are fabulous. And I, 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 it, I just can't tell you how great this thing is. But aren't the minis a great idea because now it's like the perfect size for that burger or for that one piece of sand. Yeah, it's a one it's a one person meal. So what you got? And, perfect and chicken breast, omelet. perfect burger, perfect omelet done in how many minutes is that? Oh, it takes like two minutes. Wow. And, cool. and I actually cook the pork first. I cook the sausage first, put the egg in, and then look, you have a perfect omelet. Yeah. And, um, I, and, and I love the way it does stuff right out of the freezer. Right out of the freezer. Yeah. Five yeah. minutes, from frozen, Fabulous. and it's done. Margaret, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, gum metal, red, blue, you get two. You get ideas on how to use it, right? Uh, great ideas, little recipes, little guide on how to use oh, it. Oh, the whole booklet for it. Okay, thank you so much, buddy. Hey, thanks, man. Speaking of eating.